Welcome to the Traders Show. This episode is brought to you by Paperstone. Greetings traders and welcome to the Traders Show. So today uh, we are happy to have a guest. So we are not going to read the usual way uh, me Ken and Caleb. So today we have a guest, a very very special guest. So uh, Ken will uh, talk much about the guest then we will uh be talking about all the things that uh is happening around uh this new company uh not a uh, really new company but a company just got a license in Kenya to manage money so we'll be talking much about it how they work uh the 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 investment uh, proposal they have and uh how they can uh easily easily make everyone in Kenya be able to partic- to participate in the forex market so forex market is really really uh difficult but the moment you have uh quality traders people are uh, qualified to manage your money you can now easily participate as a forex trader but someone managing your money so uh today we have a guest uh called Vimal uh Ken will uh will talk much about him we will introduce him but uh my name is uh my name is Taras Lawi uh and I'm glad to be joining you I hope you enjoy this episode yeah guys so as Taras has said welcome to the traders show where we talk everything business finance and entrepreneurship so as Taras has said we have a guest and we are going to have a fun time you guys will learn a lot you'll enjoy this episode as much as we will enjoy being in the episode and we'll talk about markets what we as Taras has said we our guest is called Vimal how Vimal got into the industry how it's going and this uh, company called TradeSense and how it's going what's their vision what they're doing <coughs> at the moment and how they're going to help the industry grow because they're market participants and pioneers in the market especially in Kenya and Africa as well so we're happy to have you Vimal here in the show Ken will edify him and from there we'll get straight into the markets before we jump into that also market wise markets have been quite volatile uh, we've seen the dollar uh, being a bit choppy for the past few weeks we saw a bit of a rise then fall then rise uh, towards the end then a fall again so markets are quite choppy uh, it's a good time to also participate in the markets as m- long as you're using proper risk management in the market so keep emphasizing on that you want to have proper risk when markets are volatile it's a good time to take opportunity but also manage risk in order to protect the downside so that's how it has been in the markets um but today as Tara has said we want to talk much about that we really want to chat and um jog our guests mind and see what they have to say about the markets so that's it from me ken so hello hello traders welcome back to another episode uh like my colleagues have said today we are joined by a guest so on my right you can see a guest I'm going to defy him. I'm going to tell you a little bit more about uh, the person on my right. I'm introducing him. I'll share with you his experience and then we'll dive into a conversation where we'll learn so much. Uh, by saying we, I'm, I mean, we will also learn from this episode because we have interacted with Vimal before, uh, but we like uh, using this podcast as an avenue to learn uh, different things about markets. So just like you guys will be learning, us will also be learning. So let me just read something about Vimal, uh, something short, not very long. So Vimal Chuda Sama is the man on my right. The man on my right is the current Chief Executive Officer and Senior Forex Trader of TradeSense Limited. Uh, so TradeSense Limited is a money management firm which was licensed in May of 2022. Uh, and they are currently managing over 50 million shillings. So we have over $500,000 under management currently. currently. So he's an experienced banker with a demonstrated history of working in the treasury department for various levels for the last 14 years. So he's been working in the financial markets over the last 14 years. Over these years he has honed his skills in portfolio management, liquidity management, business development, financial derivative analysis and trading using various technical and fundamental methods. Vimal has previously worked with Chase Bank where he climbed through the ranks from corporate dealer, money market dealer, assistant manager treasury to corporate forex dealing and manager at treasury prior to joining the bank- banking industry vimal worked with various entrepreneurs in sales operations warehouse management and administration he holds a masters of business administration degree from the university of sunderland in the uk so that's a brief inter- introduction of vimal uh, as you can see the man is quite quite experienced in the field of business and entrepreneurship so there's a lot we're going to learn today I think over those 15 years we will try and compress the lessons that he has learned the most important lessons that he has learned and pass them along to you. So to start off I think Caleb will start us off. We have a set of questions that will guide us through the show but we'll go for around the set of questions. So the only pointers but we'll also have other questions that will just pop up from the answers that we'll, we'll have. So Caleb So cool. Welcome, welcome Vimal. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome to the show. Our uh, followers I'm sure are going to be 
uh, excited about this for those who've been following us you've been hearing us saying a lot about Gitonga Gitosh Michael Gitonga if you've heard about that now Vimal works um, directly with um, Gitosh Gitosh works is a CIO yeah he's yeah. the chief investment officer at yeah. trade yeah. nice. yeah. and and the main um, main person to decide on the strategy on the trades he is going to be taking and um main person to take care of uh, the portfolios okay yeah. yeah so you're going to get an indirect access to gitosh before we get gitosh in the team oh, um in the podcast you'll hear a lot from vimal and you're going to learn a lot paperstone gives you access into the global markets with more trading opportunities first class customer service and peace of mind withdrawals are quick and for those in kenya mpesa is enabled paperstone markets kenya is regulated by the capital markets authority to open an account with paperstone and begin your trading click the link on the description below so vimal um how how did you get into trading just tell us a big background a bit Which of a background yeah uh, what sure. made you get into it uh yeah, yeah. sure I'll, i'll go through what uh how i got into it yeah i'll start uh, from the beginning of my life my career mm-hmm. into the financial markets mm-hmm. uh first and foremost uh, sansana thank you for having me on the podcast You're welcome. Uh, i welcome. appreciate you thank and, you for joining uh, us too yeah <coughs> uh basically uh i started banking uh, in 2003 that's uh, that's how 2003 2003 how old I was, was you just 5 years uh, <laughs> yeah <laughs> that time i was about 19 years old mm, okay. uh, when i started uh, banking my career in banking and uh, that's the that was the beginning of my career i think the, that's what i can say in the, into the financial into finance markets. before that mm-hmm. i was i was always into uh accounts auditing i always wanted to become an accountant probably a, a auditor or something mm. but then i realized uh, that's that, that's not for me okay with time uh, when i joined banking treasury department that's where i joined uh, mm-hmm. the sector the department i joined that's where i realized for me um i would uh, my career would be in trading investments and trading and um, economics i can say it's all about yeah. economics yeah. No, nothing about auditing and accounts and all that yeah. it's more of uh, economics and i tr- i started as a as a junior corporate dealer dealing with clients in importers exporters in foreign exchange markets mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and uh, with time uh, i used to also do money markets that's management of liquidity <coughs> for the bank market uh, making uh, no no that's uh, money markets is oh. basically you're managing the liquidity of the bank mm-hmm. by balancing the assets and liabilities oh, okay, of the okay, banks, okay yeah okay. Uh, through the treasury and other banks so that's that's where uh, uh then from there with time i i did a bit of trading as well this was on the starting when i started working how was the nature of trading that time it's 2 or 3 to 4 how was the nature uh, of trading those those days uh, trading markets were not uh, i mean I, i was still learning so i <laughs> which platform were you uh, using maybe because no, the internet days, was not so know, sophisticated I, one thing i'll tell you um bank trading forex trading and uh uh retail uh currently what uh, we are doing on cfds yeah. oh, on the oh, platforms yeah. these are very different, different. these okay. are very different, different platforms yeah, yeah? yeah. <coughs> for trading uh what we are getting into the te- technology moving ahead the digital mm-hmm, tra- mm-hmm, uh, mm-hmm. ways of trading the markets now is very different it's called cfd contract for difference yeah, right for difference yeah. yeah basically there is no physical transfer of uh, funds yeah, of yeah. Uh, money mm-hmm. whereas in bank trading mm-hmm. we call it uh, we used to call it spot trading oh, spot. and uh, over the counter mm-hmm. where there is exchange of actual physical money now mm-hmm. so i come with the yeah, real cash. million dollars if it's a million it's cash uh it's not cash but account to account okay actual digital account, okay. yeah digital okay. account digital. to account that's okay. that's what i mean mm-hmm. uh basically for trading in uh, in banks uh it's very different you need to have limits and lines from other banks i'll give you an example if you want to buy pounds against dollars yeah mm-hmm. you need to have an account with probably big banks like standard city or something mm-hmm. uk london uh us mm-hmm. so the bank has a bank yes <laughs> the bank has a uh these are called nostros nostro accounts basically okay, you nostro. have an account offshore mm-hmm. whereby 
those accounts are used to transfer people's money and they are also used to trade so you have mm. certain limits to trade you have uh, probably up to quarter million half a million a million dollars to trade probably 10 million it depends how big uh, you are mm. and that's that's how they they give you limits to trade mm. limits and lines mm. so if you go to see those olden days of trading are very different. limited mm-hmm. and uh, different you you if you want to trade in swiss francs you need to have a bank account in uh, switzerland or something mm. yeah oh, so, okay something like that yeah that's yeah. how it used to so when for example if you <coughs> traded pound and dollar say you have bought pounds you have sold dollars mm. so those pounds are transferred to your pound account mm-hmm. in um uh, in the uk in an Austro account where you have your the bank has an account yeah and your dollars are transferred to the you see the physical transfer is done now yes, yeah exactly yeah. so that's how it, it's done unlike the current markets yeah currently uh the cfd is what we trade into the digital uh, trading yes especially after the hype of uh, cryptos and all this uh, now people have started knowing about the in kenya people have started knowing about forex trading yes yeah. uh, so many people have also found loopholes on this forex trading mm-hmm. uh, especially the con men yeah, yeah true. related yeah. <laughs> yeah you end up losing your money um, con get conned yeah and, yeah. yeah so So that That's, is how you started into getting into the finance yeah, market. Yeah, now with the, with time I learned about uh, the normal the bank trading I was there then mm-hmm. with time I started learning you know that time <coughs> I used to see so many uh, on internet uh, adverts or pop-ups for uh, Alpari those days Alpari uh, Alpari the broker. Yeah, the brokers use Mm. That's then in 2000 I think I got more interested into trading in 2000 8 2009 that's where i started mm. learning more about trading mm. doing my research doing uh, technical now research. you shifted from the banking way to the cfds the cfds yeah okay uh i mean that's the future and that's the most easiest way you yes, can true. trade into mm-hmm. yeah this markets because currently being uh on this side of the world you don't have that uh uh that kind of liquidity to trade okay, uh, okay, the yes. way the banks in yeah. the, the the people out there the goldman sachs uh, the hsbcs and the big banks have yeah uh, the the trading powers yeah, the liquidity uh, the liquidity exactly mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and at that time i think uh, overall forex trading market 24 hours turnover on daily basis was about uh, that time it was about 5 trillion dollars it's recently now increased to about 6.5 trillion dollars so yeah. you think yeah. about 7 yeah, yeah. 7.5 7. yeah. i think yeah. it's gone up to 7.5 so yeah. Yeah. yeah i mean markets are really heading to those directions now mm-hmm. yeah. trading on uh, mostly on cfds again uh, cfds i realized there's a lot to learn on cfds it's not easy trading true. in this markets mm-hmm. you need to know what leverages are what yeah, margins true, true, are true. Mm-hmm. and you need the right education on this yeah with yeah. time i learned that i failed i've made i failed how, again how did I've you made educate yourself and uh, uh most of my education and my uh was through interacting and uh, through uh, google and youtube that's that's uh, mm-hmm. that's what i used to watch this is around 2008 2009 when i started actually started learning about uh, especially economics how economics because i remember when uh, i initially learned about fundamental trading mm-hmm. yeah this was based on the economic factors yeah, data uh, mm-hmm. data globally yeah i remember in 2003 when uh, 2013 2013 14 mm-hmm. they about mm-hmm. when european central bank uh, mm-hmm. was uh, um um pumping in stimulus uh yeah, quantitative yeah. easing QE. Uh, QE yeah mm-hmm. and uh cutting down on their interest rates uh, mm-hmm. i remember how euro started dropping against the dollar that's yeah. where i learned uh, a lot about fundamentals, fundamentals the yeah. economic indicators that affect the market yeah mm-hmm. again there is also a technical part of it yeah. yeah because fundamentals at some point two three days would work mm-hmm. but you need to know where the reversal points yeah, are coming in yeah true. coming in true, yes true. as much as you follow the trend trend is your friend your friends people <laughs> say but 
yeah. at some point <laughs> it becomes an enemy <laughs> <laughs> the trend becomes your enemy <laughs> yeah so yeah. what i what i tell people is it's you know trading is like a flowing river you flow with it when the direction changes you again flow you change the, you change the direction mm-hmm. because at some point when the river has changed change the direction you are bound to change it automatically yeah yeah yep, yeah? yep that's true and uh, that's that's what i tell people i mean you have to really be on your it, things have to be on your fingertips be yeah. it yep, yep. fundamentals be it technical yeah but uh, i've also seen uh, pure fundamental traders and pure technical traders as yeah. well yeah Uh, all successful yeah yeah and they're all uh, doing well all successful and uh, but again the mm. key is risk management yeah. yeah yeah you can't just uh, say okay today i want to become rich overnight and <laughs> you know that's gambling and uh, definitely you'll make money one off but at some point uh, yeah, you you'll, the blow up you'll, comes you'll give it back yeah but once you realize and try doing it again that's the time you'll end up blowing everything yeah yeah mm. <laughs> your first time luck will be with you yes but did you have second that? time yes i have, I have had, <laughs> yeah <laughs> i've had and i realized yeah i i i realized that uh, no this is you are better off doing professionally properly and mm-hmm. uh, uh, um, i mean even my risk management was poor mm. until i learned and uh, i used to try and even do in smaller on smaller time frames and try and make quick money which quick is money. not right yeah yeah mm-hmm. you can not make quick money simple in yeah. trading yeah. not yeah, a get rich trading yeah it's not a get rich quick scheme simple yes. <laughs> yeah. you cannot yeah. <laughs> you cannot that's a, that's a good so point you have to you have to look at the bigger picture bigger market mm. top down approach they mm. call it top down approach top down yeah. approach yeah look at the bigger picture for one day four hours the bigger analysis of the market be it technical be it fundamental. fundamentals yeah, yeah. Follow the trends, the breakouts, the mm-hmm. indicators you're using, mm-hmm. whatever is comfortable for you. Mm-hmm. And uh, then you can switch it to a smaller time frame to get a proper early entry points. Yeah. yeah. But overall, the bigger picture matters a lot. Okay. So this time as you're learning, as now you've gotten into the Forex, you're learning on Google, YouTube, interaction with people. Yeah. As you say, 2013, you're learning the fundamental aspects. Because also for us, we've learned a lot through fundamentals in a yeah. crash. Like yeah. since COVID came, you're like, oh, that this that happens, interest rates being changed, yeah. inflation affecting. Yeah. Now for you, as you're learning, how long how long did it take you to start realizing, okay, now risk management is key? Uh, all those. It took me uh, at least two, three years. But if, three because years. I was doing it on my own, I never had any mentor or any. No I was just trying to observe, figure out how things are done. I even learned economics on my own. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I learned what happens when, when, when inflation rate. goes up, when interest exactly. rates are raised. Yeah? Yes. Stock markets tend to come down. Mm-hmm. Of, uh, more investors put into high-yielding assets as a classes yeah. uh, mm-hmm. um and again i also learned that yes as much as that happens but there are certain limits to those reversals as well mm-hmm. yep, like yep. currently stock markets uh, current example inflation is high in everywhere around the yeah, world, everywhere in the world yeah. especially being the m- biggest liquid market which is us uk european markets yeah. they really get affected yep mm-hmm. so because uh, fundamentally if you see since they are talking about increasing interest rates mm-hmm. and uh, with time they're also talking about recession all this yeah, yeah. Yep. uh there are so many people who would also manipulate the the big markets the big players in the markets mm-hmm. would also play around with the um, with the stock markets and all this currently mm-hmm. if you see uh, i'll give you an example for yesterday mm-hmm. yesterday uh, in the morning markets went up mm-hmm. when uh, us open This is I'll, I'll which market specifically? This is about uh, stock indices. Oh, indices. This is yeah. indices. The Dow's. Yeah, Dow. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is Dow Jones industry. Mm-hmm. I usually follow a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Dow Jones. Yeah, it's very highly liquid. Highly liquid. A small yeah. mistake can lose everything in a minute. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, manipulators took the market up when uh, US came through. Uh, the the big players. Sold, sold off the came. market yeah. uh, making people think that markets because of the fears are going to crash now mm. they're still mm. coming down yep. and suddenly after things change at in the evening our time at 8 8 o'clock 
market started turning again. around yeah, around yeah market started and went up almost by i can say almost by from 3400 to 31 almost by over 500 points yeah, yeah. yeah. points yeah. strong move yeah. yesterday i mean that was mm-hmm. yeah one day yeah in a in a that so you have to be very careful on those things because they are also i what i realized that there were certain certain reversal points which were being followed yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. technically on technicals True. okay yeah mm-hmm. but even fundamentally once uh, remember it's the third quarter Yeah. so they will be reporting for the previous quarter yeah, yeah. yeah. so fundamentally when they are reporting for the the company's earnings uh, earnings and all that mm-hmm. uh, definitely markets will be very volatile yeah, yeah true, and the uh, market has dip so much that uh, these are also good times to uh, buy and hold Mm-hmm. physical stocks yeah not cfds yeah PFF. cfds you have to be careful because of the margins and leverages yeah true yeah. true yeah. true so inflation as much as it brings stock markets down yes it strengthens the currency yeah, of yeah, the yeah. country for yes. a while for a short time once companies start recovering and they report good earnings mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. automatically in three to six months time you see markets now Picking turning up, now turn around up, yeah, and yeah, start yeah. people start buying mm-hmm. yeah yeah it's 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 like a rubber band no matter how much you pull mm. till yeah? come back once you leave it, <laughs> it will, <laughs> the more you pull the yeah. higher it is yeah, exactly, faster exactly, it goes, exactly. Yeah? yeah so it's like that mm. i think in physics it is called recoil velocity exactly mm. yeah So, so, it's a, so it's a this is cycle. how markets are yeah it's a normal cycle what goes up must goes down, down must come Vice down what goes down must go up mm-hmm. and yeah yep. okay so is 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 dow jones your main thing that you watch what what's your strategy how do you approach the uh markets? i don't okay uh since i'm uh, with trade sense i don't trade anything or uh, uh, i oversee the companies uh, oh, operations is, uh, policies are being followed mm-hmm. policies and everything yeah I'm not uh, afraid is on trading probably on my own portfolio a bit of here and there uh, as I said if you another thing I can also say uh, the longer you sit on the computer the more emotions you get and more true, true, true. very good point and, uh, wrong <laughs> you are bound to do yeah yeah, yeah. 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 you must learn to, to do make, nothing yeah. at least yeah yeah <laughs> so um I've been through that and I'm just talking through experiences and all that Um I would look at any market not only indices not only okay. Dow Jones I yeah. would do even look at pound against Canadian dollar a bigger picture and I'll tell you what the what the markets are going to be doing mm-hmm. I mean I can draw my lines and I can tell you mm, how, but these are now long term predictions uh swing predictions you can say swing trading you have, you have to have that patience again Yeah Another key point is patience if you don't have patience you can't wait uh that's mm, it and true, you don't true, have true. your proper risk management mm. in place risk management are done in many ways uh you can probably look at hedging you can probably look at placing stop losses and take profits based on uh, certain calculations yep. exponentially calculated or you can have a fix take profit fix stop loss mm. mm-hmm. uh you know, for example if your stop loss is 50 points you have a take profit of 100 points or you can even have it exponentially mm-hmm. it's not a must that your stop loss has to be lower than your take profit you can even have the equal stop loss and take profits mm-hmm. or yeah. you can have a lower take profit and a, oh, yeah. a few points higher stop loss but mm-hmm. again at the end of the day what you are supposed to look is the bigger market mm-hmm. the quality trade yeah. you want okay. to take mm-hmm. not just uh, uh a any any trade, trade you yeah. give it a, a one quality to one trade which will give you some good returns okay yeah? okay on a bigger picture turning down to a smaller time frame you get an earlier entry you sometimes you're in once you enter you're already in the profits okay yeah. but on a bigger market sometimes when you enter you have to really wait because of the swings mm-hmm. it yeah. does Mm-hmm. as long as you have your stop loss and uh, risk profits. management mm-hmm. in place mm-hmm. you can do that you can okay. hold it So yeah. basically from what you're saying like I I can see you talking from experience on a breakdown analysis you normally come from a um, psychology aspect what you're saying being patient psychology and all that very, and then come into risk management yes. looking at and I'm managing risk properly True. and the last thing I'm looking at is my system this this one. how uh, good your systems are exactly yeah. so mm-hmm. you're paying a lot of most attention when it comes to psychology and risk you can attest yeah. for that you Yeah you see 
again um, it's not easy to learn psychology no True. one can get into your brain it's and teach you psychology <laughs> and emotions control your emotions for you yeah. it's you to do it by yourself mm. Mm. people can guide mm-hmm. you guys you guys financial hub guides people yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. educates people yeah. yes. but now it's 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 for them for them to realize what's right yeah. what's wrong okay and yeah. how to follow what you guys what you guys guide it's for them now to follow that guys yep, yep. otherwise if they start gambling that's i'm sure and it's not easy even to follow what you've been exactly. told exactly <laughs> exactly and that's the yeah. psychology now that's psychology now yeah. you have to really have that strong will yeah. i mean i've been through it and i know this did you have any example very, any yeah. practical example of when you through maybe psychology psychological maybe you were challenged so much became many <laughs> uh, i mean there especially yeah on dow jones i mean <laughs> there are times you, as i said when you are seated for long on the in front of the uh, computer, monitor, yeah. computer you're bound to do make mistakes mm. yeah. you know markets are not moving <laughs> you are so bored <laughs> you've watched all your videos you've done everything now you're bored you do you do <laughs> now you've seen the market are just so slow the moment you take that trade mm-hmm. you say i overall picture i know markets are going to go up yeah. from what you have seen on the fundamentals Tools, yeah. but again remember there are profit hunt uh, t- uh, loss hunters mm-hmm. which will kill you, you. Yeah. catch you on that yeah so i would be like i wouldn't uh, there are times i have not even uh, followed my own technical and in the middle of some consolidation i have just done a you took a, a trade, trade. Yeah. yeah i taken a trade yeah. and you see the moment you have taken a trade and that's it it's gone against you yeah mm-hmm. and you're like okay is it that traders on the other side oh brokers on the other side were waiting for me to take, <laughs> it, take it on the other side so i mean these are all emotions and psychology you have to really work on mm, it work on it and uh, if you think uh, you're good to do full time trading i would uh, suggest no <laughs> take your time <laughs> one two hours analyze the market leave it <laughs> do, some other things. do some other things yeah. probably get a job probably do some <laughs> other uh, uh, things on the side don't in the market uh, yeah just don't sit on your screen for full time from uh, 8 to 5 in the evening mm. because that will now drive you emotionally and psychologically into the wrong direction yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. actually traders yes, it's 8 yeah. to 8 to 10 pm yeah <laughs> they're so trading the through the us session <laughs> london, london session yeah. asian yeah. session <laughs> Some of them don't even sleep. <laughs> you see, best thing is finish up other jobs, yeah? Yep. yeah. You know your strategy. As mm. long as you know your strategy, in the morning, do your analysis, look at the markets. Once you have done, take one, two hours, do everything, leave it. Yep. If you don't have any quality trade. Yeah. Go do some other work. In your mind, you know, at the back of your mind, you know that uh, um, this is how the current markets are, but... Uh, there is no much liquidity so let's wait for us markets mm-hmm, to open mm-hmm. till then let me go and finish up some other other things other things yeah mm-hmm. just don't sit in front of it whereby you'll end up doing screwing up the whole yep 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 yep, 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 yep. yep. Okay. so according to and traders get stressed out faster than very uh, true mm-hmm. true so you need to control on that and best way to control just don't look at the markets true read the analysis trust yourself move out go, go do your other things okay okay So I'm saying nice. according to at least what I've picked from what you're saying is you do believe that psychology is the most important element really? yes. to succeed as I said yes that's why you should spend majority of your time yeah trading is an art yeah yeah mm. you don't have to go and uh, learn at some colleges and stuff you need to get some guidance from the right people yeah okay. yeah mm-hmm. the real right people you need to uh, people who are, who are experienced who knows who are there yeah mm-hmm. then it's you to control and you to know that whether you are going to follow that okay, those yeah. real rules regulations policies mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and control your emotions and psychology mm-hmm. it's an art yeah mm-hmm. yeah i i mean i know people who, who who are into different mechanical works even plumbing or any other things but they are so good traders right now mm. that they can even come and teach you guys what trading is <laughs> i mean yes yeah, that's you get the logic i'm trying to say yeah? yeah yeah true it's all about your passion what you want if you are really keen about yeah. learning the trading, drive to learn trading the drive yeah mm-hmm. but not keeping in mind that it's a quick rich scheme true 
Yeah, yeah. You have to get that off your mind. Yeah. Get that off your mind. <laughs> yeah. When people show their Ferraris with <laughs> after trading on uh, on uh, after gambling on uh, bitcoins and stuff. <laughs> forget not, about it. Forget about it. It's and not, that is what is so being promoted out here. Luck. Mm. And sometimes I've known I know some people out there even they'll hire Ferraris and Lamborghinis and they'll shoot out shoot pictures and yeah put on videos. social media and try and you Sell know get you into their stupid scam yeah, <laughs> I can say. yeah. yeah. So true, true. don't get get into scam yeah learn it by yourself know what's right yeah look at the regulated markets mm-hmm. regulated companies always go for a regulated person mm-hmm. yeah whereby there's a government backup as well yep. and your funds are also secure Okay. And as you're talking yeah. about scams, you 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 started trading back then. You've witnessed all the scams that have happened in. Because I've never, uh, luckily I've never gotten into one. Because you know, like you you've yeah. been in the market, so you know yeah. you know how to spot a scam. Yeah, exactly. I can spot the scam, and I can. What I look at, it's a uh, one simple thing I look at is uh, if the person, the company is regulated, mm-hmm. and uh, if the p- company is regulated under what regulatory authorities? Okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah, uh, like. Uh, When I started the first time I did it through a broker in Australia. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Um uh, this brokers I what I did I checked their licensing, licensing everything is there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. License number authorized by the ASIC Australian yeah, Australian uh, securities. Securities. So those are now legit. Mm-hmm. But there are others who are uh, who don't have such information even yeah. when you ask them I've come through such so many of them in, in especially recently through Telegram. Mm-hmm. Mm. I, you know Telegram it's open. Yep, yep. So you'll see a pop up someone uh, telling you have you ever traded in crypto <laughs> or trade try this uh, company blah blah when you go on their website and go on their support there is nothing. Mm. No one is even ready to respond to you even if they respond ask them who who are you regulated under they have no answer mm-hmm. nothing. Immediate red flag. So this are uh, red alert, yeah. Yeah. This okay, okay, okay. Never ever get into such. I mean, and I've done. I've not been in it, but yeah. I've, with time, I've seen so many. Yeah. And uh, I've even uh, tried to contact, but zero response. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. So nice. the scams that have been happening in Kenya have really led to the industry sitting down and trying to regulate the markets which were regulated then in 2017 which were regulated yeah but even after regulation there were still S- some scams, yeah, scams <laughs> uh, yeah, true, which true, were going true. on mm. uh, as i said uh, being a new market for the kenyan market a new thing for the kenyan market industry yeah, yeah industry in the kenyan market uh, people are now getting to understand about the scams and yeah, the regulatory yeah, yeah, yeah. It's getting uh, better. Stuff, I think it's yeah. getting better. It's, it's getting mm. better now, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Because uh, so many even after the regulations came through uh, people were still being scammed, conned. Yeah. Till uh, recently we had what we called the, the, the Bitstream. Did you hear about it? Yeah. Exactly. Bitstream. Which just ended the yeah. other day. Yeah. Uh, the cryptos are not regulated in Kenya. True. So now yep. they've seen the conmen have seen a, a loophole. loophole to scam through mm-hmm. bitcoins. Yep. Mm-hmm. Especially they end up using Binance, mm-hmm. big words, mm-hmm. so those, <laughs> yeah, and uh, they end up scamming you. Yep, mm-hmm. yep, yep. And a lot has happened. I, I, I met a few. I met a few clients few weeks back. They were also scammed over millions of shillings in Bitcoin. Mm-hmm. And, recently, uh, yeah, outside. Recently, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, not recently. Probably last year or something. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, probably, yeah. So they are still there. Yeah. But uh, it's. Now people to understand what's right for them what's wrong for them. Yeah, If yeah, they yeah. don't do their proper research and and they just uh, because of that being blindfolded folded by that greed yes. of returns. making quick money and big returns. Yes. Uh the high chances for them to get scammed. Yep, yeah. yep, yep, yep. So on that same point, uh, my, uh, which is part of the questions, as you've seen the regulations coming, the forex comes now reducing sort of a bit, still there but still reducing. You've seen the market evolve over the past 10 years, the forex industry. So how are you seeing that growth and how are you projecting it to continue? Uh, in terms in of the uh, change, how the forex industry has grown? Forex industry, has, as I said, globally has grown so much. As mm-hmm. you can mm-hmm. see, the volume. Back, back then, a few years back, market was only 5 
trillion mm-hmm. currently as you said it's about 7 7.5 trillion yep, yep. dollars mm-hmm. so these are now de- developing markets and they are still going to change mm-hmm. uh now they're getting to the third world countries uh, mm-hmm. people yes. are realizing about this yep yeah uh, initially yeah uh, the scammers take a chance because it's something new for the markets mm-hmm. but as uh, now people are getting to understand i can say if what it was in 2017 in kenyan market 2018 then currently 2022 22. it's a bit different, different. yeah no, it's yeah. really people are getting to understand yep true mm-hmm. true i mean true. people are also trying to learn about yeah. uh, trading about More brokers uh, are coming all the markets trading is not only forex trading is stocks exactly. trading is uh, commodities commodities like gold oil sugar soybeans uh, futures market uh, mm-hmm. yeah it's also indices yep, stock yep. indices so trading is very big yeah. so yeah. there's options spread market where you have so many options mm-hmm. yeah and like uh, what it used to be years back currently markets have changed like in banking you would only allowed you are only allowed to trade currencies. in uh, currencies in a treasury department Th- okay. those days you you if you are still an upcoming bank you don't have limits lines from other banks because they look at your portfolio as well before so giving you limits lines true, true. and all mm-hmm. that so you are very limited unlike what we have currently mm-hmm. on cfds the brokers now it's become a very big market yeah. and so yeah. many people are now looking into this market mm-hmm. yeah. they are better off trading in into this than getting into uh the actual physical trade the banks do that now but speaking no, cfds no, uh, currently not okay uh, are they allowed to of high risk but you know banks have a uh, very stringent risk uh, policies yes whereby uh, you can't because of the margins and leverages they don't do but uh, again i i i can also i would i would also say that uh, leverage is also uh, upon you what mm. leverage mm, you choose want, yeah mm-hmm. yeah leverage is like a short term indirect credit line which you get yeah yeah, mm-hmm. yeah? whereby uh remember one thing your losses are deducted from your actual equity mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah 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 not from the leverage that out le- the <laughs> leverage that you have you have gonna <laughs> remember that yeah? yeah so um the main thing is yes with time i they would get into it but they need to understand what margins and leverages are, how yeah. they work yeah. in cfd trading mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and uh, they they need to also know that there is no physical transfer so they are stress free they can trade into the bigger markets mm-hmm. and diversify into bigger mm-hmm. markets but they can also choose a lower leverage of probably 1 to 1 or 20 to 1 something like that yeah which is mm-hmm. now properly uh, it comes within the risk framework yeah, as risk well framework, yeah. and you can have a proper risk management if you have such yeah okay. yeah and like what retailers are doing exactly. retailers take one is to 400 yeah <laughs> and uh, they trend, they think, leverage the account yeah. <laughs> they are only quit <laughs> they only quit you take yeah. too much risk and i teach that on risk so, management because uh, a lot of people ask me about how to handle leverage mm-hmm. and i tell them you should trade as if you don't have leverage because mm-hmm. if you trade with leverage you now maybe have one is 200 you have a thousand dollar account you now think you have ten, uh, 100,000 mm-hmm. dollars yeah and you have a thousand dollars so mm-hmm. this guy is risking a percentage of 100,000 dollars exactly and that is the wrong way yeah <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, exactly he's risking everything <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah that's that's the other thing uh, even some people when i tell them i i tell them out of your actual equity actual equity mm. you only risk 1 to 2% yeah. Yeah. Two to, yeah. probably between 1 to 5% you risk mm-hmm. on one asset class a mm-hmm. quality trade quality the other one another quality trade between 1 to 5% and wait now mm-hmm. let things now yep work Why out not? yeah mm-hmm. Yeah. But uh <laughs> I mean I've also done that. I, I yeah. when I started the first time 2008 2009 I have I have I used to think oh oh if I have $1000 I have $100,000 le- <laughs> a leverage of 100. Yeah. And I've done that. I mean I've been all in, yeah. yeah Did luck work in your favor? In a I didn't have luck. So <laughs> so in a minute or five minutes I lost Blow everything. Up. Yep, yeah. exactly. So yeah. Mm. Yeah. And it's uh you can yeah. lose very fast yep, yep. Yeah, if you true. have no risk controlling so yeah it's uh, it doesn't mean the leverage you uh, you can use the whole leverage yep yep um of your actual equity between 1 to 5% and you're sorted yep okay. yeah. that's the best risk management strategy okay. 
Yeah, yeah. Mm. So, yeah. so as a as a public uh, money manager now, since you're dealing with clients and you're managing yeah. uh, client funds, what would you say is one of the challenges that that you have with uh, managing client funds? Because we were actually talking about how uh, many people once they come maybe and you tell them about trading and you introduce to them the element that you know at some point there'll be volatility. So during some months you'll be up and up maybe some huge percentages, 10, 15%. Yeah. But at some point, the portfolio will also go down. So you may have three positive months and then one negative month and some more five positive months and yeah. one negative month. That volatility. True. That volatility. But now many people, <coughs> once you go negative, uh, they start calling you, they start asking what's happening. Um, and okay. it's very hard for them to yeah. manage that element of being the, uh, yeah, uh, uh, down. So how, how Since how we have just uh, begun our operations in June, yeah. Yeah. Uh, up to now we have not gotten any. And uh, when we meet our clients, we tell them, we explain to them how these things work. Oh, okay. It's the same thing. If you, For example, if you're buying uh, say a stock, a stock KCB yeah. or Safaricom, yeah? mm-hmm. it doesn't mean that Safaricom will go up uh, It's in, not a uh, certain overnight thing. or in a week. Yeah. You have to hold have that patience. Yep, yeah. Yep, yeah? Yep. And uh, you you need to have that uh, you know patience and wait for it to you mm. know mm-hmm. move, move and uh, work its way out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, it could even go down. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But you need to have that patience mm-hmm. to Uh, cool. wait and let it turn around yep, yep, yep. so usually explain to people this is how it works mm-hmm. that's why we also keep a lock-in period of three months mm-hmm. so within three months they can see the performance sometimes oh, okay. a month is bad but you see the other two months are good yep, yeah. Yep, yep. yeah but what we look at is the profit minus the loss mm-hmm. gives you a mm-hmm. net net profit. Yeah, net profit. that's net what return. we look at net return mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so overall average net return is good That's mm-hmm. it. Mm-hmm. Oh, and nice. uh, with, the, with the company, uh, with TradeSense, we only uh, trade technically strictly with certain patterns and stuff. Yes. And uh, and uh, those are based on uh, bigger time frames. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, we look at quality trades. Quality so trades. So we reduce uh, as much as we can, we reduce our drawdowns. Oh, nice, yeah. nice, nice. And, and uh, increase or maximize our returns. returns that we'll, yeah. we look at okay. nice. our risk management is very tight. Tight. The, that uh, uh, net net we end up with a good return. Positive. Okay. We haven't mm-hmm. gotten such uh, mm-hmm. uh, problems. Problems up to now. Okay. So nice. so far you're up about 50% percent by the for the year. Uh, yes, currently we from Jan to May mm-hmm. up to May we are up about 50%. percent. Yeah. Uh, net net yeah net. uh like jan was good feb was good um i think may we had a negative of uh, probably 10 12 something percent mm-hmm. yep. but uh, looking at the net net, net average positive. it's a positive of 50 percent. as i said we look at the bigger picture okay so for yeah. the average yeah. person what that means is if you had invested a million shillings when yeah. the year started currently you'd have made about 500,000 shillings uh Yeah, but uh, we tell our clients, uh, our projections, usually our projections for our profits are 20 to 25% percent annually. Yeah. We don't try and create that uh, don't promise, over promise, uh, over promise yep, things yep, 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 mm-hmm. yep. and create the greed in people's mind Mind-hmm. that I, they can get more and all that. Mm. I can say 20-25% net of our charges, our mm. management fees, performance fees okay, and okay. all that. <laughs> but anything above that, that's a uh, cream on the cake. I mean, bonus for them. Bonus for yeah. them, yeah. yeah. Uh, so and uh and this is based on dollar fund nothing okay. dollar fund yeah. so i think before we get deep into the operation of trade sense yeah walk us through now your transition from you, moved, you, you you've now moved from banking to now cfds yeah then uh personal trading so you quit you you, you quit banking uh, yes quit banking mm-hmm. that I was doing uh, personally a bit uh, since 2016 mm-hmm. okay so you quit banking uh, in 2016 yeah 2016 okay. i i did uh, join a uh, bank uh, in kenya for six months in 2019 but uh, i can say things are not the same as before mm-hmm. uh, i can say now this is the future trading uh, new things mm-hmm. new technologies mm-hmm. investment uh, investments you know mm-hmm artificial intelligence coming into the market these mm-hmm. are now mm-hmm. the future of the market of mm-hmm. the economy of the world mm-hmm. basically yeah those so you, 
So uh now from banking how did you trade personally then how did you join TradeSense uh maybe walk us through the vision Yeah yeah Uh from banking uh and also how you met Gitosh Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yep Paperstone is an award-winning online global forex and CFD broker. It offers unparalleled service, exceptional pricing and quick execution speed. Okay, uh, basically from banking uh, the bank when I left uh, banking uh I a friend of mine and myself we invested and it was good that time mm-hmm. i was more i can say this is uh, 2013 when i started only fundamentals i started learning technicals mm-hmm. in 2016 2017 mm-hmm. that's the time i really got into proper technicals now and uh, i started learning uh i was more for fundamentals mm-hmm. we used to make huge returns this fundamentally yeah fundamentally mm-hmm. especially if you just uh, go on with one currency or two currency pairs mm-hmm. rather than looking at so many currencies and confusing yourself mm-hmm. true uh, you can end up making good but with time i also realized that uh, you need technical part of it as yep, well yep yep and uh, i can say now fundamentals could be 20% 80% as technical, yeah, technical now could yeah. be more of technical mm. and uh, that's what i now look at and uh, up to 2019 till i joined another bank for 6 months i did a bit with a friend we were okay then when i you know once you start working you can't look into these things as much yeah mm-hmm. yes you do but mm-hmm. uh, Um, on the sideline through your on the sidelines through your mobile yeah mm-hmm. the, the, of course that's not my core yeah my yeah. core is uh, my i always had a dream of uh, getting a money manager getting into a money manager mm-hmm. managing funds for the for the public for the public and getting uh, a good uh, returns and getting somewhere i mean we want to be the next big thing probably <laughs> <laughs> if yeah. we can yeah uh, after we probably after mpesa safaricom yes. <laughs> those leagues Uh, nice. hopefully yeah because uh, we are looking at uh, giving better returns and stuff than these but, public uh, companies yeah mm-hmm. but uh, yeah you know, i did for a while uh, trying to think what to get into until the regulations for mm. cma came through and mm-hmm. the first time i saw sib got the license mm-hmm. yeah mm. mansa uh, x yeah, yeah yep. i think yeah mm. uh Uh, the first money manager mm-hmm. i think in kenya that was 2019 2018 2018 yeah but uh, with a very different uh, business model, model yeah. like ours yep yours is uh, very good yeah uh so from then there we 2019 uh, i joined i left in 2020 i left the bank this mm-hmm. was towards the end of 2019 when i joined the bank 2020 then uh, 2020 may there about i left and i decided now it's not banking treasury i think it it's not for me at yep, the yep, moment yep. yeah because things you have the, changed there you have yeah. grown it yeah and you know uh, too much uh, competition yeah through those sides mm-hmm, uh, mm-hmm. markets are saturated with so, so you said about limited the, it's limited limited mm-hmm. to a certain point mm, lines and limits lines and limits mm-hmm. and um uh, being so aggressive you would not have that patience to wait in that true to change yeah, yeah? in that mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so you, uh, towards the end of 2020 is the time i met with michael mm-hmm. and uh, i was introduced to michael by sahil of uh, pepperstone pepperstone yeah. okay yeah sahil of Pe- pepperstone he's the one who introduced uh, you uh, yeah Uh, and as you mentioned pepperstone uh, i'd like to tell people this podcast has been brought to you by pepperstone so we are humbled to uh, also work with pepperstone as they are uh, basically the best broker in kenya right now so uh, yeah. we believe pepperstone has benefits that many traders can use uh, basically beginners and also professionals yeah. exactly so there's avenues for both of them professionals uh, as you money managers i think they have a perfect a palm system yeah Uh, they also have uh, benefits for new traders so things like a uh, smart trader tools so if you're a new trader you're trying to trade uh, make sure you open your account with pepperstone and trade with pepperstone yep the links on the description below yep, yep. Yeah. continue sorry so yeah that's how i got 
I met uh, Michael and that's how mm. uh the good thing is when i met michael we had the same mindset the mm-hmm. same aggression you know mm-hmm. to go money manager yeah, so you clicked money from managers. the word go yeah the first meeting we clicked and we said okay fine let's submit all the documents to cma and uh, let them do all mm. the due diligence um mm-hmm. the fit and proper and everything was done and uh you can say two two years down the line we got our license, uh, license. so last, it, last month we it was it. a heavy work two years yeah. congratulations yeah. on that congratulations thank on you. that yeah. Mm. Yeah. like basically being time. being the first money manager that is yeah. not under a bank because yeah. mansex is under sib under sib yeah. yeah so you guys are the first managers private. uh, pri- uh n- like uh yeah private but not under any under uh, public any uh, bank so yeah. yeah that's the good so, thing and yeah. we our main mission is to you know uh, give excellence and quality service to our people mm-hmm. our clients yep and be trans- transparent as much as you can yeah exactly yeah uh with us uh, the good thing is that uh, we don't take funds from uh, clients or anything mm-hmm. uh we can uh get their accounts open through pepperstone mm-hmm. yeah. and yeah and uh Usually we use a a system called MAM it's a multiple account management system mm-hmm. whereby any uh client opens an account under trade sense banner mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. they are uh onboarded to our management system mm-hmm. whereby we see a pool of funds mm-hmm. one mm-hmm. pool of funds all the funds for, from all the clients okay. so you don't have to manage multiple each time yeah yeah so everything is oh, under one basket know, under one basket now once you trade and profits are equally distributed as per the equity of equity, the clients yeah, yeah. yeah on mm-hmm. percentage based mm-hmm. and uh, that's how we do and we take our, our performance fee and management fee and that yeah. is very very transparent yeah. compared to what the competitor yeah. is doing and the good good thing is that uh, the clients get uh, daily statements True. so they yeah. can monitor yeah. so you can monitor your account on mm-hmm. your own they have the rights to uh uh log into their account deposit more amounts to withdraw any profits mm-hmm. they have all the rights okay yeah and uh the good part is uh, that uh, automatically the system we use when a client withdraws we automatically get our profits taking oh, yeah, oh, nice. that so that's the best thing with the systems this are uh, we try and be paperless as much as we can yeah everything on digital everything mm-hmm. on On online the, online yeah so can anyone join your company if you fund in terms of investing what is the investment uh, approach yes we have a uh, um minimum investments for retail and corporates mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. minimum is uh, for retail is $2000 $2000 and minimum for corporate is $10000 mm-hmm. um anyone with that kind of amount can join our company okay mm-hmm. and our um uh, sign up with the broker we take them under our management system yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. and they'll be getting their daily and monthly statements reports, yeah. and uh, through their portals they can also monitor the movement of uh, the, the funds. liquidity funds. yeah which is there so mm-hmm. from there they can know the profits that are made and yeah so now what's the what's, as you're saying your goal is to become big um safaricom and pesa bigger than big, bigger, bigger than them what's 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 the plan what's the plan for that uh currently uh we had a uh, we are sorting on, out on our um systems which are now sorted we are okay. up and running operations mm-hmm. is up and running so main thing is now um we haven't yet uh, done the main launch mm-hmm. yeah uh, which will be doing soon uh, mm-hmm. probably after elections even mm-hmm. later this year yeah, nice. yeah. Mm-hmm. later this year the official launch of tradesense official launch of so watch out for that sense, guys yeah. official launch of tradesense yeah. yep then uh, uh our creating uh, traffic on the google ads and all this mm-hmm. uh, that's also there but we haven't done yet yeah mm-hmm. so once we start doing that mm-hmm. uh definitely it's going to be simpler to get clients mm-hmm. easier and currently we are getting so many referrals through other people who have tested the waters mm-hmm. with us who have uh, seen our performance and been through uh, with us yep uh and uh main uh, the the bigger picture the longer plan for 5 years i'm looking at uh, at least at a fair target of 
hopefully a billion dollars <laughs> portfolio a billion dollars in the next <laughs> maybe 5 years uh, hopefully mm-hmm. looking at that mm-hmm. uh with being aggressive and uh in the market once we start our aggression the proper marketing, marketing. and uh, yep, yep. uh partnering up with uh, our people uh companies mm-hmm. we are looking at corporate companies like even pension funds yes, asset yep, managers yep. fund managers mm-hmm. who have big books and uh, they can also they are also mm-hmm. allowed to put certain they can uh, make a product under their uh, books yeah. as mm-hmm. a offshore forex fx investments true true uh done to lo- uh, locally through trade mm-hmm. and blah 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 yeah. something Form like that yeah? yeah and we are also looking forward to acquiring probably uh, an asset management probably whereby you can also get uh, pensioners and all these guys mm-hmm. coming through mm-hmm. but uh, eventually that's an eventual plan we first need to settle down with trade sense okay uh create that awareness out there now trade uh, regulated money manager is in yep, the market yep. mm-hmm. more transparent and uh, and uh, yeah once that is done i'm sure probably we can reach hit your target, target. Yeah. yeah it's very possible uh, so really uh, yeah because uh, uh Usually this is what I do uh backwards calculation mm. if you want to hit a billion in 5 years mm. you add by 5 you get, you get about uh, 200 uh I did some certain calculation even one thing I know is that in a month you need to get at least uh our in a day you need to get about 100 uh, 160000 dollars or something uh raised. portfolio yeah right every day uh for 20 days in a month about eight, eight hundred thousand mm. dollars so about a million dollars not of yeah mm. uh approximate that's that's what i saw oh, okay. and uh, i said the uh, if uh, we get aggressively now into the market once things are sorted once we have done our launch properly everything yeah. mm-hmm. then uh it can be possible i think yeah, yeah, uh, i that's think very it, possible. it can be but you can't really say how things you can't predict the things you can mm-hmm. only uh, do your part part and, exactly uh, exactly your analysis as per the current market mm-hmm. i mean and you're not only targeting local investors yeah it's it's a yeah, global yeah i mean any anyone can as long as you can also mm-hmm. join yes. through our local brokers yeah mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. as long as the KYC is done properly yeah, yeah. and uh, yeah, yeah anyone can join through anyone okay. yeah okay uh i think on that same point uh as educators we've been getting a lot of clients coming in saying they i think we've had people losing 14 million 40 million yeah on uh not so good traders no, wow. let's, not, not so let's, good traders. let's not even call them traders yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> see so a trader starts cuz trading they, like there's no there's no uh sort of uh qualification for you to start trading yeah. you just open, you just an, open account. an account yeah just and you call yourself a trader yeah, yeah. i'm a trader <laughs> so a lot of people are losing so much money to yeah. this uh newbie yeah. traders scammers yeah, people true. losing so much money no risk management plan yeah And I think now TradeSense comes to that point whereby uh you know uh, you guys now are trying to sort of help those people who are being scammed. Yes. And yes. actually a lot of money not just $100 $200. Yeah. We've had people losing 40 million shillings. Yeah, I know. In a in a scam yeah. 14 million. I think I have personally a friend who lost 14 million shillings in a in a in a uh, on a trader who was not licensed who was uh didn't have a track record yeah. and all that so i think trade sense offer that opportunity for for now those people who are trying to look yeah. for maybe better returns let's not call yeah. them very very high returns but better returns co- better, compared to banking yeah. compared yeah. to maybe circles and yeah. money uh, money markets so maybe for people out there who are trying maybe to look for investment avenues yeah. please 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 look for companies who are, which have been regulated yeah. companies which at least have shown their track record because i think you've published maybe the your your work since yeah, 2020 yeah it's there 2021 2022 yeah and uh, we were also thoroughly vetted by cma, CMA before yeah. they give us yeah, our yeah. Because yeah. like we saw you guys models. go through that licensing yeah. process uh, michael was there with us uh, and it was very hectic yeah. for two years it was uh, just like sort of they are trying so hard to make sure true, like you guys true. are quality traders yeah quality mm. they vetted our uh, business model yeah, business management model. strategy mm-hmm. they were also looking at the 
uh clients protection mm-hmm. funds and yeah. all this the risks and, uh, the risks mm-hmm. and all that so with time they did everything so we are thoroughly vetted mm-hmm. and uh we are licensed officially licensed so there is no way uh, your yep, funds yep, are yep. going anywhere mm-hmm. yeah you're within the authorities of Kenya and okay yeah you're safe so uh i think we've now talked maybe about the returns yeah now what happens if the risk comes because for me personally i'm the risk manager at financial hub yeah i like looking at the downside yeah. mm-hmm. true, true. so maybe Definitely. how do how Everyone do clients how do clients it. maybe how how, uh, how should clients expect to look at the downside because uh, most of them don't look at the downside they look yeah. at the returns the returns mm-hmm. yeah what we as i said yeah um uh, according uh, as per our track records yeah mm-hmm. tested back tested and uh, also Ford michael tested. also he's also a trader since 2005 mm-hmm. he's been trading the yeah. uh, same strategy up to now he hasn't gotten any major drawdowns, drawdowns or, or blow ups blow ups or anything mm-hmm. what we tell our clients uh, max uh, drawdown we are looking at is 25 to 30% that is overall overall mm. yeah and uh, what we look at is overall the bigger picture we look at is net net profit. net net, net. Yeah. okay yeah even if you have a drawdown of 25 30% but you have but wins the bigger picture mm-hmm. you have the wins mm-hmm. and you look at the net net wins mm-hmm. that's what i tell people and we tell our clients that's okay. what we look at okay that's so our our strategy our risk management is it's very capped, capped to a limit yeah, to a limit okay that's nice and tied up yeah properly so okay. basically if maybe you are an in, uh, if maybe looking into investing into tradesense the worst case scenario is that 25%. Yeah, that's okay. what it is. 25 to 30%. When it yeah. gets there, what, what? Uh, usually the trades close mm-hmm. and uh, of course the clients we inform the clients. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, even before getting uh, meeting the client we just tell them this is how it works. Yeah. So they can keep it mm-hmm. for recovery. Mhm. Yeah, definitely it's uh, recovered. Okay, yeah. Uh with time it's mm-hmm. recovered. The yeah. net it comes back the net uh, and more. Mm-hmm. on that yeah, or yeah, at yeah. least uh, what we say 20 to 25%. Yeah. Okay. Uh It's the plan to decide whether they want to keep it for the recovery or they want to withdraw. Mm-hmm. We have okay. that disclaimer of course so Yeah, true. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Seen it. And we tell people yeah, yeah this yeah. is. Mm-hmm. Okay. So That's over nice. over over the years you've watched uh you watched traders in the bank, you've watched traders in the retail sector. Yes. You've met with good traders, you've met with people who have gone True. through blow-ups, you yourself have traded. Yeah. Uh what are some of the common mistakes that you see most people make as they approach trading? Like if 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 someone comes to you and tells you I want to start oh. trading, mm. you can see the loopholes they are going to fall into. So, can you just point out some of those common errors that you see many people make? Uh first they need to get into they need to first uh, get the edu- education mm-hmm. okay if they want to do it themselves uh firstly they need to know what markets are all about what is leverage trading what is margin mm-hmm. trading what mm-hmm. is uh, uh, uh do not start directly with a live account mm-hmm. start with a demo account mm-hmm. learn practice learn exactly. from the right people mm-hmm. like you guys financial ops yeah uh practice mm-hmm. practice makes you perfect yeah mm-hmm. on demos mm-hmm. once you have that confidence remember some people practice on demo and directly get into in a few days directly get into, into life <laughs> thinking that oh demo they've made money but when they get into life <laughs> no money the courage the motivation is <laughs> just gone yeah, yeah. Exactly. Uh, things are different and it's because of that shift in yeah. mindset demo shifting, there is no yeah. psychology yeah Sh- shifting mindset yes yeah. Yeah. so what they do in demo they should copy replica the same to the live yeah exactly. the same and way. i think i've heard that statement also oh. from a from a veteran trader who's really since before yeah and actually say this treat your live account how do you treat your demo account mm. exactly the yes it's the same yeah exactly because you know in demo there's no greed because you won't get that money yeah <laughs> <You> see <laughs> No, demo, fear. No, you fear. Are, no fear no yeah. fear you have more confidence, confidence. you're confidently <laughs> trading with the markets yeah. in demo but if you have the same way into a real yeah, account yeah, yeah. you are definitely going to reach somewhere and mm-hmm. constantly make yeah. money but again risk management <laughs> is very sometimes important sometimes demo you would not put a uh, risk management stop losses because mm. you know markets are turning around oh, yeah, every yeah, now yeah, and then mm. so uh, mm. you, with demo once you start go through demo 
create a proper plan strategy mm-hmm. that you want to do this mm-hmm. this mm-hmm. and uh, once you are confident that okay uh, i have my proper mm-hmm. strategy proper plan mm-hmm. my mm-hmm. risk management is also there mm-hmm. go to a get into a live account okay control mm-hmm. on your emotions and psycho- psychology that's yeah. why on demo at least straight for a year <laughs> Yeah. For a year. Six months. You know, you know, students, you know, it's funny. You've just said for a year. So students come in and they ask me, Ken, uh, after I'm done with this course, will I be okay to start trading live? Will I be profitable? Will I be profitable? Mm-hmm. And I tell them, listen, you've just started your journey. For the next six months, you're going for yeah. practice. You're exactly. not even mm-hmm. going to start yeah. trading. And then for another six months, you'll start trading, but you won't make any money. You'll just be trading, <laughs> first of all. Yeah. You just mm-hmm. get familiar with the market. Ex- exactly. Exactly. So and they say one year is a long time. That's yeah, a very, yeah, yeah, very yeah. long time. Mm, it, a lot of I people mean, discount how much, uh, like how long trading takes for you. Again, to, uh, how for you, uh, for you how to fast work. you learn. That's also yeah, uh, important. Yeah. important. important. Yeah? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because I have seen so many fast learners as well mm-hmm. into mm-hmm. this market. Yep, yep. Within three months, six months, they have polished their skills and they are making... Mm-hmm. And, and, and most time they did that through mm-hmm. maybe yeah. education. Yeah, yeah through yeah. right see, education. That's the right education. Mm-hmm. Education is like a boost to to your, to, to your psychology yeah, and exactly. learning mm-hmm. process. Yeah. And reduce your once you have that your and reduce mm-hmm. your yeah time once you have that at least you know yeah. within six months to a year you are it. ready to hit the mm-hmm. market. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And the example we keep telling people the analogy come into that it's like oh. for example and I tell my students that a lot when you come to us we are giving you the guidance to get to where you're going. So it's like we're giving you a compass. We're in Kenya two people we are two people let's say you Vimali and Ken. Yeah. yeah. Both You have come to me Vima to educate Ken is deciding to go online to do his own things. Yeah. Now, you when you come to me I've given you we are all going to North Pole. I give you the compass you have the direction. Ken is doing his own things. He'll yeah. go 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 round the earth round the yeah, earth. Yeah, he'll try to look he for He might shortcuts. get to North Pole. Yeah. But he'll take a much longer time. A longer time. But yeah, when you come to us looking for shortcuts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And the shortcuts are not working. <laughs> I don't want the compass. <laughs> the same thing with, it happens with trading. If you're looking for shortcuts, it won't yeah. work. It won't, it won't work. work until mm. unless now we have realized after five years that this is how it will work. Yeah. Mm. And yeah. you go back to the North Pole. North Pole. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Exactly. It's like that. So yeah. So that's what we tell people. Come to us, we give you the compass. But you have to take the journey. We, we won't yes. put you in the bus and okay, let's go. No. Give you the compass now you walk that journey. You walk go through that process. Control your yeah, psychology, your emotions. emotions. Mm-hmm. Be it uh, cloudy, yes. rainy, sunny. Stormy. Control. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And in terms of now like you said advice it will take you that long time. Uh, it will take quite some time for you to start becoming profitable to see any consistency. On the other hand, on a retail level how much will you advise people to start with do you have any definite or yeah yeah uh, because of the risk management uh, controls and all that usually any retail person i meet i usually tell them start with at least 5k dollar mm-hmm. 2 to 5k dollar mm-hmm. or probably 5k is a fair amount mm-hmm. 5000 dollars make a good uh, fair returns yeah and reasonable risk management because Re- i always teach that in my class yeah. like you can't manage risk well on 100 dollars you literally no, you, you can't, can't you can't and <laughs> you just forget about that yeah. don't understand there's no, and, uh, risk, yeah. there's no risk yeah and then, uh, i mean that one in a, in a second it's, it's good. that's it so not that there's no risk there's full risk yeah, like the there's point. a lot of yeah. risk in in, you in it like you can't control exactly. it you can't you control can't it you can't say you are taking 1% of dollars <laughs> it's a dollar how do you Because position size on a dollar uh, lot size on trading is also 0.01 <laughs> yeah. exactly which doesn't have to add 200 dollars yes <laughs> it's a thousand dollars yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah? Mm-hmm. but still i would advise at least 5000 dollars to be reasonable mm-hmm. and uh, have a better you know uh rising curve and mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and uh yeah i think yeah. So that's thousand. That's, yeah. that's you hear it guys 5000. We keep telling, you know for us even we keep telling people if you do the easy math even if you have a living standards of let's say $500 and you have $1000 and you want to take trading full time it means you're trying to look for 50% month in month out. Yeah. It, it doesn't even make sense. And yeah. So yeah. just when for you to cover your lifestyle. <laughs> you need 50%. You need 50%. So yeah. you try and break down to people 
how you even need like ten thousand dollars? You're only trying to make a return of five percent, which so is the same. You guys also 500. say the same. Yeah, 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 yeah. the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. It's because, true, true. because if mean, you do the math, the people who have been through it yeah. knows this. Yeah, thing. exactly. So how it works. There's one works. person we said that uh, we were even it was at, uh, we even said a thousand. We came down a bit. Said mm. minimum start a thousand. Minimum. He said you guys are in Illuminati. Mm. <laughs> what, what are you telling? <laughs> Where are you getting a thousand dollars? This is just not for you. Yeah, you don't yeah, have exactly. that amount. It's just like starting a business. Yeah, you need a yeah. good don't amount work. of capital. Exactly. Good and amount, I think the problem yeah. is uh, a lot of misinformation from the internet. Because you can see on True. YouTube, someone says how I pushed fifty dollars to ten thousand dollars. Yeah, there's so many, so many. I mean, <laughs> so many. Yeah, and those are the ones which actually people like. That's one reason. You know, the other worst thing is those advertisements of mm-hmm. uh, making quick money overnight. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm. your Lamborghinis and all this mm. trading from the beach. It's really setting up the <laughs> yeah. It's really setting up the wrong mindset for the people out there. Exactly. Yeah, especially you know people who are trying to survive, live, mm. you know, you are messing up people. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Mm. That's not the right way to yeah. do trading. Trading has ethics. Yeah. Exactly. To follow. Mm. True. I mean, you can't just say Oh, I've seen this guy. Wow. <laughs> true, true, exactly, true. exactly. It's not that mm. easy, you know. Yeah. It's trading is not another thing I would also tell people is that trading is not gambling. Mm-hmm. It's not yep, casino. Yep, 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 yep. So many people say, "Oh, you are in gambling, you are in, in gambling." <laughs> it's not gambling, it's not casino. Asemanga pata potea. Yeah, pata potea. Trading is pure business yeah. based true. on fundamental analysis and technical analysis. analysis if yeah. it was gambling mm-hmm. then you would uh, just place trades based on your gut feeling mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yes yes you don't so. study anything yeah you don't study anything mm-hmm. but if you have done your analysis oh markets uh, inflation is going up rates are going so dollar is mm. going to get strong if it's in the us yeah the whole then process and also you know that, yeah mm. what point to now use your technical part to see the point to now buy the dollars yeah not just anywhere yeah it's mm-hmm. not just anywhere yeah and you know where we'll so come out in terms of a loss also exactly mm. yeah it's not gambling it's mm-hmm. proper business yep 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 mm-hmm. and most people also now in line with what you've just said i also feel like most people who lose money in the markets lose money because they do the opposite of what you've just said they come in and they want to trade based on their gut feel and their opinion and they've yeah. just started trading exactly yeah. so you don't have a system you don't have any process you don't have even the knowledge of how markets true, work true. and you want to start yeah. making you've yeah. already deposited 300 dollars and you want to trade true that's mm. pure gambling exactly and let me say this uh um trading is not gambling but if you don't do trading the proper way it's you, gambling you'll gamble. it's gambling <laughs> yes yeah. if you don't do it properly the proper way yeah. exactly no it's risk gambling. management you don't know your psychology you, see, no you yeah. don't know your patterns That now that's now gambling but the, other the thing, proper way yeah. it's business true mm. true the other thing i have also seen is as much as mm-hmm. you know trading but because of your emotions and stress mm-hmm. you end up uh, gambling mm-hmm. things mm-hmm. you end up uh, taking wrong uh, trades yep. you know it's not the right trade you still end up taking the wrong mm-hmm. trade why because of the stress you have mm-hmm. some uh, people who are trying to you know make their mm. uh, ends meet yeah, yep, yeah? Yep, yep. they end up <laughs> doing such things mm-hmm. yeah. oh akuna biashara ingine i can think of doing let me put in trading yeah, yeah? <laughs> let me t- i i know my stuff that i'm supposed to do this 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 mm. but i'll still end up uh, making wrong decision because i have the end month yeah uh, bills bills to pay mm-hmm. and the deadlines to meet yep, yep, mm-hmm. yep. so that's another thing mm-hmm. stress <laughs> do not put in trading if you are not well off mm-hmm. yes. and if you think that you are you have the stress mm-hmm. of meeting month your and uh, needs your needs from trading yeah mm-hmm. yes don't get into such things yep, yeah yep. you are better of putting and learning trading when you have a secure job yes and on the side you are learning and trading. eventually you know that now you can comf- comfortably confidently leave the job and start trading yeah yeah yep, 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 otherwise that's true do not so do not try that. to meet your external needs through trading yeah, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. unless yes. if you have like hundred thousand dollars and you don't have job then you can learn trading you know how to do it you can lose 5000 but you know you have good amount of money which is lying yeah. which now pole pole once you have learned trading you can yeah. survive yeah. can survive yeah. 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 because if you if your needs are like 100k a month yeah. you know making 1000 on 100000 dollars mm-hmm. that's for little money 1% a percentage yeah. yeah 
then it's fine but if you if you are a struggling person who is working and trying to save something and then i would rather say do it on the side or get a money manager or get a money manager get a money manager yeah. exactly yeah. instead of struggling dollars yeah. there yeah. let the, the 2000 dollars give it to transcends yeah and you'll yeah. be a trader like any on the side like someone is trading for you yeah exactly mm-hmm. or you can yeah get a money manager whereby at least you don't have the stress of uh, you know yeah. uh, learning mm. and lo- checking looking at the market which yep, also yep, affects yep. your other work yeah mm. you're better off you know doing uh, the thing yeah, yeah true diversifying it to else else yep yeah mm-hmm. i think that's okay. a good way for most people who now maybe they're trying to juggle okay should i quit my job should i trade yeah i think the best way is if you if you don't have that uh, if you've not maybe traded for a while you you're thinking of starting out the best thing for me actually i always say people i actually for, for some of my clients who yeah. come as students and they are very very busy someone is working from 8 to 9 p.m. and I always tell them okay i think for you the best system okay like the best thing i can do i can help you is Give trading needs time for you to learn exactly time. true you see true. and you don't have that time so you can't learn it mm-hmm. i'll just tell them walk to the next door you'll meet tradesense put your money there that <laughs> 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 yeah don't turn back. <laughs> yeah unless you are really passionate about doing exactly, it by yeah, yourself yeah, yeah. from inside mm. you you really want to exactly. do it and the drive is even i can even quit my job then to do this you can maybe the drive yeah, yeah you can you do can, it i mean if you really want to do it then mm. you can do it yeah, 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 as yeah. i said i i never had any mentors i just did it by did observing it, yeah. and learning through google and youtube mm. yeah if you really want to do it yeah the Otherwise, passion the drive then yeah. 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 question exactly. when people ask on that same point globally is what's your point what do you think about it is trading a skill or a talent mix of both a mix of both yeah mm-hmm. i mean at some point you need the skills mm-hmm. how to do the technicals and all the skills you need mm-hmm. and uh, it becomes a talent with time when uh, you have sharpened up your skills yeah, yeah, yeah. And again you know mm. on, uh, uh, <coughs> sorry you can say this guy is talented with yeah. trading exactly so and on talent you know talent right skills. T- talent still comes is talent inborn or through practice both i'd also say both there are people who are naturally predisposed uh, yes it can be both mm. yeah. but I majorly mean, it's through practice yeah, mm. yeah. You, you see naturally is there when mm-hmm. you have the passion to do it the drive exactly. the passion yeah. Yeah. that and makes you, you there yeah. Yeah. that's exactly. natural but uh, when you are just doing it f- by the way and you want to do something on the side and learn new things mm. then now that's with right. time yeah with time it's built yeah, yeah. 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 okay yeah. so good dance on that that's that's i see many people asking and many people think um it's talent so many of them just walk away but i think like you said it's a combination of the of both he need to have skill comes to in guide you as well yeah, yeah uh, so. cuz you want to be born knowing risk management exactly you, you, you're, you're not even know born know knowing trading <laughs> <laughs> you're not born knowing <laughs> trading exactly yeah. exactly and you're not this, born yeah it's the same thing they try and uh, use the same analogy of soccer player like messi very much talented but if you didn't put in the practice to gain the skill you wouldn't become good at the talent you have yeah, exactly yeah, yeah. that's why skill makes you talented exactly talented. your skills yeah. make you talented exactly. so that's how yeah. it works yeah. it yeah. works hand in hand hand in hand yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. both of them has to work mm-hmm. exactly you have to put in the time the yeah. the practice you just can't say i think i was born to be a trader <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you, you can't just uh, say okay i was born to a tra- be be a trader and get into it <laughs> it needs time yeah, yeah. It needs i time. i took years to get, get, to get in So, thing, yeah? so if one person a new person has just come to you vimal and told you vimal I've seen this trading industry it's interesting I want to get what's what's the one main thing you can tell them I can tell them learn trading I'll send them to you guys of course <laughs> get the right education <laughs> first yeah I have yeah. the right people mm-hmm. now uh, previously I, so many people used to ask me before even I joined mm-hmm. trade sense I didn't know about financial hub as mm-hmm. much yeah. now I know yeah. mm-hmm. so since i'm busy with my stuff i would not really i would tell them the basics mm-hmm. but i would tell them if you really want to learn the right things mm-hmm. we have local people financial hub is there mm-hmm. you don't need to go out there and get conned mm-hmm. do it there yeah, yeah. Exactly. i can even uh, attest to that and yeah uh, vouch for that yeah. Yeah. True, true, true. education yeah education, education. get knowledge exactly. education mm-hmm. is key in yeah. this mm-hmm. uh, uh because now trading has become a business yeah yeah, yeah. before it was 
through passion you learn trading you learn trading yeah, yeah, yeah. you yeah. learn trading gitoshland gitoshland through mm. passion yeah. Yeah. now it's getting to a point now it's becoming a business yeah. and a career like you and can a career. Yeah, exactly no. a career yeah. like medicine People engineering are getting to it. yes yes yeah it's becoming a career so now it's all about learning uh getting the right skills right education mm-hmm. get into mm-hmm. it and really say that like uh, same same as any other career you can't become yeah. a, a, a doctor without going to medical uh, exactly. uh, 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 medicine uh, school uh, a medicine school a medicine you can't school, yeah. No. Yeah. you can't become an engineer without doing engineering yes, practice yes. exactly <laughs> so basically for you, <coughs> for it from your trading career you have through the to go through the right trading education yeah. uh, do the practice same as medicine you have to do some uh, lab tests and all that so you have exactly. to test your system that's why they call it practice <laughs> <Yeah>. exactly <laughs> so at least those those ones practices are even lifetime for mm, so many years exactly even low you have to practice yeah same thing exactly. trading you have to practice, practice six months to a year mm, once before. you have done the practice you are sorted yeah, you and your career is set yeah mm. so do you see now in trade sense the whole market as kenya and as africa because with what we're doing basically is what the west have done for a long time yep. the hedge funds because hedge funds banks, in the us started in the 60s 70s it started way back mm. yeah. so, yeah. so do you see us as kenya and as africa growing into competing competing at a global scale uh yes it is getting there now uh, uh i can say in kenya since we have now created that benchmark yeah mm-hmm. money managers so you see so many uh, Uh, like coming. coming through yeah uh it's it's a new market it's a growing market there's no competition mm-hmm. uh, we we are also trying to grab the market share as much market as share. we can before anyone comes through because mm-hmm. our main aim is to look for the kenyan people first yes mm-hmm. uh, cover the kenyan market. main market. kenyan markets main markets in mm-hmm. kenya that's mm-hmm. nairobi kisumu mombasa eldoret many mm-hmm. other mm-hmm. growing markets mm mm-hmm. Once you are done with the major at least even 50% of it, yeah, of it. then you can now look at uh, East Africa. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Tanzania, Uganda, Rwanda, Burundi, mm-hmm. those sides. Done that, now you look at the bigger markets, Africa. Yeah. <laughs> Become a pan-African, look at the main, you know, yeah. Yeah. Like the bigger picture now. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean... That's that's the main strategy we are looking mm-hmm. at and that will make us grow. And I think uh just a question. Uh you guys are the, maybe the second money managers in Kenya. Yeah. How about in Africa? In Africa I haven't uh, really seen uh, any it, money it, managers it, it comes to regulation uh, so you have to yeah. look at regulated What, countries. What uh, mostly people have seen mostly do is fund managers yeah. or oh, fund management. Yeah, yeah. through like fund like management bank. they try and uh, investment bank is Yeah. Okay, okay okay it's uh, big in uh, africa but not currently. solely on foreign exchange uh, for not ex- only on uh, for, foreign exchange they are no as far as i know probably they might be one or two in in, south africa. in, uh, in africa in south africa mm-hmm. probably but uh, i cannot uh, say or predict okay. on that or okay. Okay. or attest to that but uh, what i can say that uh, we have we still have no competition we yeah, still have true. the whole it's market a virgin market to, it's a virgin market we still have the whole market it's the same way we also have <laughs> sort of even for us exactly. education same thing you guys mm. have yeah now you guys uh, it's a market that didn't have education now it has education. it has education yeah. now yeah to make it easier for people to learn now yeah. you don't have to struggle like us Yeah. for five years how learning to how to learn the even for us to struggle we were also self taught <laughs> exactly <laughs> exactly you know said that to my students for me i took five years to teach you what i'm exactly. teaching you today yeah and maybe it will take you less than those five years yeah, yeah. exactly yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 guiding mm. because of that now you guys have made it easier for the kenyan market yeah, for people yeah. to learn as the way you go to learn acca you go to learn other things mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. um business acumen all this same way now forex is there exactly. you guys are there officially there in fact mm-hmm. and another physical office is, not a physical briefcase office, office. Is there it's not a government briefcase <laughs> yeah. and, uh, pay the money on our embassy <laughs> we'll, we'll do it online <laughs> and send you pdfs <laughs> send you pdfs yeah. yeah that's the best thing you see you have a physical uh, location, places, location, location yeah. where you do one on one trading yeah. uh, training as well Mm. which is very good yeah, i yeah, i mean yeah. this is what people want yeah? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah if you do a group training that's also good but at some point 
people don't not understand the best. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. not the best mm. but when you have that personal touch one on one yeah it's very different yeah. 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 it's True. much faster for them to learn mm-hmm. yeah than the a group of 50 people yeah mm. you're opening a school basically mm-hmm. 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 Uh, an analogy i like using yeah. in my class in the introduction i don't know if you can you guys can agree to it <clears throat> but i think you will it's the same way i keep saying imagine back then when the banks were starting i don't know the late 80s 90s in yeah. kenya that is yeah and you were in that industry being educated when the second bank has just been licensed to start operations mm. look at it right now like you're saying it's over saturated the, the banking, banking sector yeah i mean there are over 40 banks exactly <laughs> now imagine you are starting when there were two yeah uh, you have a much it's a much better industry to get that's the into. time yeah you capture most of it exactly. yeah. once yeah. you have yeah. done it that's it there's nothing now True. yeah everyone is at the limit yeah, mm. yeah at the ceiling everyone is competing for one cent yeah for one uh, percent uh, yeah. um mm-hmm. market the clients competing, mm. competing with uh yeah yeah so i think we are we are both yeah, on yeah. the same track yeah. we are both pioneers yeah, yeah in, for us in industry the best thing for us education money managers new thing new market uh mm-hmm. we are making it easier for people who want to learn mm-hmm. making it easier for people who don't want to learn and just earn passive income mm-hmm. rather than putting into the old uh, orthodox uh, investments that yeah, was yeah, fine to the kawaida stock and all that at least they have another uh, diversification yeah, which is forex true, true, true. Mm-hmm. with a uh, sort of a better return Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. So as you said, we have a physical location. If people want to find trade sense, uh, where can they find you guys? Oh, uh, we also have a physical location. It's there on our profile on our website. Uh, website. We'll drop the link uh, to the website on Yeah, we'll yeah. put the link to the website. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh um we are basically based at uh, Jacob Building 17th floor. Mm-hmm. Yep. And we are also think your family and other branch in Westlands as well. Mm-hmm. And with time we'll ha- also have a uh, uh small branches uh customer support at uh, uh major towns like okay. Kisumu, Eldorado, Nakuru. Oh nice nice. Yeah. Nice. So guys as he said it's 17th floor Jeko Tower so if uh if you're coming to Fab you can easily also go to Trade Sense. Trade yeah. Sense yeah. 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 Just the next floor. floor. Yeah. Yeah. Same floor. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Exactly. So we are neighbors yeah. Yep. Mm. So I think we have gone through uh most pretty much questions. most of the questions. Actually I had one w- 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 one other sure. question. Yeah. Please take me through how you did your MBA. Uh MBA I did it in a very different way. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, my, it's a unique way. Uh my was basically because of my uh you didn't have I, a degree I, before the MBA. I didn't have any degree when mm-hmm. I joined banking at, at back then, you know, those days in 2003 uh you could join bank without any degree or any education and this bank was still growing mm-hmm. it was still an upcoming bank and uh, i got a chance to join yeah uh, chase bank <coughs> chase bank yeah mm-hmm. and uh, that's where i i did my association of business executive certificate level mm-hmm. i didn't do any diploma or anything mm-hmm. uh, but because of my practical knowledge and my experience in Extensive the experience. working mm-hmm. uh yeah in the, uh, the, the banking industry uh i did it here when when which year uh this is 2017 2015 15 yeah mm-hmm. okay uh 2015 because of that experience practical knowledge i i got uh, an exemption mm-hmm. to do it without uh, a any degree. other degree mm-hmm. yeah. without any bachelor's or anything okay. yeah this is a guy who did mba without a degree <laughs> yeah and uh through work experience yeah mm-hmm. through uh, i did it through university of sunderland london okay uh, initially first i asked them through the email uh, yeah. through chat if it's possible to do mm-hmm. because of uh, because i used to hear that it is possible if you have good uh, practical experience. knowledge mm-hmm. and working experience uh, it is possible and i had all i had almost from 2003 up to 2015, 2015. almost 12 years of work oh, experience, experience yeah. and uh, at a senior post mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. okay and uh, because of that senior post uh, my uh, bank used to also force me my human resource HR <laughs> yeah it's I used to yeah you need a degree we mali need a degree so uh, and uh, my has always been that uh, practical practical knowledge is the best i have always True. uh thought it that way yep, um, yep. so at some point yes i 
I had to join uh, uni uh, in 2015. Mm-hmm. I checked with the uh, University of Liverpool, uh, University of Sunderland. Why I joined Sunderland was because they had a collaboration with a local uh, institution here in Kenya. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It was Strathmore yeah. you said? Uh, no, uh, mm-hmm. Intel. Oh, okay. Intel. Oh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, because of that collaboration we used to go for evening classes and we used to have tutors as oh, well. okay mm. people to yeah literally be there and uh teach us mm-hmm. it was there that was the best thing that's why i chose uh, there and it yeah. took you two years two years oh, yeah 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, i used to do 17. evening classes mm-hmm. it took me two years and uh, 2018 is the time i graduated i oh, actually 18. graduated the uh the uni people the main guys from Sunderland. uk sunderland had come down oh so okay. we graduated yeah there is a whole full youtube <laughs> video for on the graduation mm-hmm. oh, so it's nice, there yeah nice, the nice. full thing so that's how i so <laughs> i managed to do my on mba on business still uh mba i did it general i didn't uh, choose a specific subject finance or mm-hmm. hr or anything i did general which covers everything basically yeah. it covered oh, okay. it was a general, uh, general MBA. mba yeah um which covered hr covered uh, mainly the whole business uh, mm-hmm. part Okay, okay nice yeah. nice nice so i think now that gives you a very very good position to even run yeah. sense as the as the operations operations, the operations. i mean everything is mm-hmm. there yeah yeah, so, yeah. Okay. yeah. that's very very mm-hmm. nice Okay so I think for me I don't have any other question uh what I'd love to say in summary is uh thanks a lot Vimal for coming in and sharing thank your experience you, thank uh, you I'm sure people will learn a lot especially mm-hmm. on what not to do you've been told you can't get rich quickly simple yeah if you can only pick that from this whole episode I think that will go a long way mm-hmm. understand that it's a process it takes time uh also for those who you want your money to be managed i think uh i was talking with michael yesterday after i was uh from your office remal and yeah he was just telling me that part of your goal is trade sense is to ensure that you outperform most businesses when it comes to profitability yeah. and i think so far you have done a good job of uh doing that i think for a year uh the returns you've made looking at the general market first of all most markets are actually yeah. down almost 20 30%, 30% yeah uh, global stocks global stocks are down that uh, yeah. much even i think safari comes down almost 50% basically yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, most of is. the returns are down to uh, 7% you can get from a fund manager probably yeah. probably i think mm. according to the what i've seen on the internet you yeah. get between 7 to 9% from exactly. fund managers exactly which means markets an are really return, drastically you yeah, down yeah, yeah. yeah this is annual yeah. return mm. yeah. yeah so if your money is seated in the bank a million 2 million 3 million shillings uh don't let it die inflation is at 8% Uh, let that money work for you other than take advantage of the business uh, investment opportunities yeah, exactly. exactly other investment exactly. opportunities exactly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah and also don't focus only on buying land uh, land won't give you cash flow i think one of the advantages you have also with used to be there 10 years ago now it's not there, <laughs> <laughs> it's not there. <laughs> think, like, you buy a land and try, try and develop I would tell you there are so many buildings which yeah. are just lying yeah, it's true, 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 true. and yeah, people are struggling yeah, exactly. yeah. again the liquidity I- liquidity risk yeah risk. I- mm. You when you need sudden money you can't even liquidate exactly yeah. you are better off with investing mm-hmm. and whereby you know that if you need your money within a certain period you, you, you can actually get it, it yeah. Yeah. yeah true 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 so you've just had those are some of the main reasons why you should look into doing two things one invest your money and for us we recommend that you put your money with trade sense uh we've also put some money with them by the way uh, as and much as we do trade yeah. we also diversify our portfolios So we've also put some money with them and so far so good we don't have any complaint a very very exceptional returns so put your money with them if you're not planning to trade if you're planning to trade i think you've had it's some education man if 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 you've gotten some education and you're grinding it out keep doing it that's the only way out there's no easy way and i think so far so good if you're starting out in the industry understand like Caleb said It's too early. You have the best opportunities right now. Take advantage of them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You can form something. You can form a career out of this. You can exactly. create uh, consistent wealth. income, but yeah. most important is what Caleb said. You can make a fortune. You can create some wealth uh, from this if you are positioned in the right way. So with that said, I think we'll stop there. 
Uh, thank you, Bimal. Mark. Thank you, thank you. Showing up. Yep. yep. It's Asana a pleasure to have Chet well. since the yeah. second <laughs> money, money manager in Kenya. Yeah. So we are very, very humbled to uh, host you today. Uh, of course, more can come. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Yes, uh, definitely. Yeah, there definitely. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot. Future. Yeah, so. and this is just uh, Vimal, the CEO. Of course, we'll have Michael. Yep. Soon. So Michael also Gitosh you guys have been actually from the comments you guys have been saying bring Gitosh bring Gitosh. Decided so Michael also will yeah. then we'll bring Gitosh. Yes. Later. So yeah. Gitosh also come and share uh, share with you guys how we started Tradesense, uh his goal on Tradesense and maybe how he's planning to run it and his investment plan. So also uh watch out on on uh Gitosh coming soon. Yep. So with that said I think I'll pass out from there. Peace. Yeah, so as usual, guys, remember, stay, stay woke, woke, stay, stay financially, financially literate. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for watching Financial Hub's content on YouTube. For more Forex analysis, financial education, podcasts, and exclusive content, be sure to subscribe.